Welcome back to another video on BC Exotics. Today I'm going to be unboxing my £750 order from Swell Reptiles UK. Um, it's quite a big uh, reptile like selling online company in the UK. So most of what I've delivered today is for a new tortoise project that I'm doing. And in here we've got lights, substrate, accessories, water dishes. I've also got an incubator because I am expecting ed eggs from my horse fields pair. And so let's get into the unboxing. So I'm not actually sure which items I've ordered are in which box. So I'm just going to open them one at a time and then see what we've got. So as you can probably tell in this first box, I think it's mainly substrate. So this is a five kilogram uh, block of uh, coconut fiber made by the Swell Reptiles brand themselves. And I've ordered two of them. So I have another one in here. And these are both going in a um, five by two by two foot red foot tortoise uh, vivarium that I've just bought as well. So in here as well, I've also got a water dish which is going to be used for the Herman's tortoise which you can see in here a lot of bubble wrap as well so this is the water dish and it allows because of the slope for the tortoise to walk down into it if it wants to have like uh, a soak to hydrate and then lastly in this box I've got two UVB lighting controllers um, they're very similar one just does 30 watts and one does 48 watts and they're both from Arcadia. So the next thing in this long box, I'm pretty sure is the UV light. And yes, it is. So I ordered two UV lights for two new vivariums. And you can see both of them here. They're both from Arcadia, even though I bought them on the Swell Reptile store. And um, I also got uh, reflectors for the lights, uh, which you can see here, so that the UVB light isn't wasted in the vivarium and it also spreads out evenly. And then in here, I've got another reflector for the longer tube for the five foot and then I also have a four foot vivarium. And so I've got a UVB light and then the whole setup for that as well. So the delivery for all of these parcels, I ordered them all on a Sunday night and I had them by Tuesday. So I'm guessing they'll dispatch Monday. And to be honest, that's really impressive considering the quantity I ordered and how quickly they managed to get them together, box them up and ship them to me. And so I would really recommend Swell Reptiles for any quick purchases or anything needed in the near future. So as you could see just there, this box is a little harder to get undone, but nothing too bad. I'd rather the packaging be secure than it be like not so good and then something happen in delivery or transit. So I'm pretty sure this is actually a tortoise hide that I bought and I didn't realise it was so big, but I guess it's quite a good deal then. So this is the tortoise hide from Swell Reptiles. Um, it's pretty standard. I quite like that it's flat on the back so I can lean it against um, the back of the vivarium and then have the heat at the other end. Um, I'm attempting to put three Hermans in this and so I think that should be absolutely fine as I've got two females and a male in uh, the Pfeiffer vivarium. And so yeah, I'm actually really pleased with this product. If anyone wants me to do a setup tour of the tortoises that I have recently got as well as the ones I've had before, just comment in the comment section below. So in this box, I also have some more substrate. Some of this is for my snakes as well though, but some of it is to mix in with the tortoise, um, cocoa, uh, husk and fiber. So this is some premium orchid bark, fine 20 liter. Then I also have four kilogram sand and I use some of this on my desert scorpions mixed in with some cocoa fiber. And I also have a 10 litre cocoa soil. And finally, in here, this isn't substrate. This is a um, 
feeding dish but for tortoises is i find it much better to have it shallow so that nothing happens and you can bury it in the soil a bit and so this will be a large um, water dish for the redfoot tortoises so last but not least is the final box and i'm pretty sure the incubator's in here among with other incubator bits so let's open it So firstly, I've got some premium vermiculite coarse. Uh, this is five litres and this expands in water. And I put this in my incubation trays. Um, depending on what's in the incubator, I sometimes use uh, like water-based trays and just with water so it's cleaner. And I'll mainly do that for snake eggs. And then for tortoise eggs, I do put them on vermiculite as I find that it works best. My old incubator has recently broken. So that's why the reason I've got a new one. So this is a hatch box I brought. Um, I didn't expect it to be so small as I do have snake eggs and so I was hoping it'd be a bit bigger so I don't think I'll be using this so I'll just use one that I've already made before but it's quite good to keep for tortoise eggs potentially. So the last item is the incubator itself and I bought the Herp Nursery 2 for about £180 of Swell Reptiles UK. I haven't used a product like this before the last one I used was a converted fridge that I got second hand so hopefully this one's a little bit better it comes with a thermometer, thermostat, everything included on the inside. And I might do a video on how it works and a review of it in the future. So overall, I'm really pleased with all the products I've received. Everything seems in perfect condition. Nothing got broken, anything like that. All the products were included because I've had some incidents before on other reptile websites and online shops where they sometimes on a big uh, orders, they've forgotten items and you've had to get in contact. But Swell Reptiles has been amazing. Again, I've used them many times. I'd highly recommend them. They also have the cheapest and most competitive prices. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you have any questions about any of the products I've uh, opened today, just comment that in the comment section. And please like and subscribe to help me get started on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.